Welcome, everyone. All right. I'm still waiting on the mic. It's, is it? It's, there we go. It needs to be a bit of hotter. Thank you. All right. Well, welcome, everyone. I'm Natalie Vore, spiritual leader here at Unity of Toledo, where love is an everyday experience. <laughs> and what is it that I said? And I love it. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, welcome, welcome, and welcome to everybody out here in uh, La La Land, where we apologize for the te technical difficulties, but it's been a weird morning this morning, so we are pushing through and knowing that all is well. So what I know is true, even in through all the chaos, is that everything is in, still in divine appointment, divine order, and there are beautiful lessons here for all of us in this chaotic place like how do we deal with that how do we move through that so we're going to start with a deep breath <sighs> that feels really good let's do it one more time <sighs> all right now for those of you inside we're going to do a little thing i like to call energy shift so i'd like you to smack your hands together and i'd like you to start rubbing them vigorously vigorously Yes. Now, I want you to join us out there in La La Land, and I want to create an energy. I want you guys to start visualizing this beautiful green light of heart energy just coming through. <sighs> Let us create now a beautiful gold sphere around the theater. Keep it going. Don't lose faith, people. Keep it going. Let's just build this this matrix of what we want to happen. We are here today by no accident. And so what we know is true is that as we build this energy, we know something really great is here for us today. And I know there's something really great here for me because I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> so you can put your hands down now. Thank you. Thank you for helping us to switch up this energy and get into a really great space. All right. 
I also know what's true is that this wouldn't be the same without you. So thank you so much for being here this morning. If you are new today, this is not our normal way, but uh, we want to extend our warmest welcome to you. And, and we invite you to check out unityoftoledo.com where you can check out what we're up to there. There's book studies, there's a newsletter you can sign up for, and there are ways to connect with our prayer chaplains for affirmative prayer. So those are all options for you to check us out at unityoftoledo.com. All right. For those of you online, I can see that you're already starting to share your good news. And I just invite everyone here to start thinking of the good news they'd like to share this morning. I think we need it. I mean, it's like February out. And so I woke up this morning and thought, mm, maybe I've time traveled. Everything I need done is already done. That's a good perk. Uh, but here we are in Ohio in March and 27 degrees outside. So yeah, and snow and snow. So anyway, all good things. So this morning we have Jody Solman coming to us from Nashville. Uh, she's going to be doing our speaking today and we're so grateful to have her with us. She's going to be sharing a beautiful story about a bluebird which on today of all days, I think we need a little bluebird joy. So we'll be excited to have her with us. And then we also have the wonderful Joe Barton here with Janine Bachman. And they're gonna be doing our music today. Welcome, welcome. Joe and I go way back to college and I just am so glad to have you here and we're so grateful for Janine to play for us. So thank you, thank you so much. All right, and then I'm so grateful to have our reader with us this morning, Brittany Martin is here. And yay, Brittany! And of course, in the house, we have Autumn and Marlon and Julie working their tails off to make this happen. All right, so now I'm going to start with a little bit of good news here. Let me see if I can say hello online here. Because uh, we missed her last week. Hello to Hillary Kane. She's in the house with us, she comes to us from Mantua, Ohio. Good morning, Hillary. And we have Kathy Oakley here as well. She says, good morning, everyone. My family is recovering from a stomach virus that had us down most of the week. Oh, no. So I hope you are all well. Yes, we are well. We're sending you good wishes as well. Hillary follows up with our son Nicholas has accepted a position as a medicinal chemist with Eli Lilly in Indianapolis. His first job after grad school. Thanks for the many prayers on his behalf. And Sherry Odin is in the house. She says, good morning, Unity family. So welcome, welcome. All right. Well, the good news to me is that we finally got some things up and running on you officially, and we're in a good space about that. So um, who else has some good news this morning? All right. Arnie, you want to run the mic for us? Be careful. So let me start with my I'm at least good news for Paul. He asked me to usher, and this is one of the usher jobs I got. So, but I don't want to do it every Sunday, and uh, you know, you might consider doing a really easy job. It just means you get here at 10, and again, if we're there for meditation, we're already here, so, you know, really consider it because. I don't want to do it all the time. <laughs> and Paul doesn't want to either, but it's not a hard job. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. All right. I am, first of all, I'm thankful for our tech people that get us going because there's a lot of tech gremlins in this theater because I do my shows here and I know there's a lot of tech. But I'm also thankful for our Supreme Court nomination, uh, Taji Brown Jackson, and I hope she gets confirmed this week. So I think it's amazing that we have a woman of color finally being, you know, hopefully going to confirm for our Supreme Court. Yesterday was my birthday. Hey, hey happy birthday. birthday. Um, a group of friends threw a party for me, and it was wonderful because we haven't really done that in years, so it was awesome. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. 
Yeah. Marcia and I have uh, my son and my daughter-in-law and my two grandchildren for one uh, hour and all for coming over to visit today. And we welcome the love and chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes yeah, absolutely. Who else has good news? Any other good news out there? Oh, we got some over here, Arnie. Yesterday, I reunited in person with a friend from childhood. We've known each other since we were six. And then she told me her son was 30 years old. And last time I saw her in person, her son was in a stroller. <laughs> so we figured it's been about 27 years. Oh, wow. That was a real nice. Well, my good news is this past week I had a surgery on one of my eyes and it was perfect. It was perfect. Yes, nice. Oh, and one last one down here, Arnie. Yeah, you reminded me. I had down uh, both eyes, cataracts, removed, and implants. So now I have 20 20 vision in my right yeah. eye. And in my left eye, I can uh, read up close very well. It was a major success. I was really scared. Um, but it's just such a blessing. Technology can be our friend. Uh, you know, <laughs> So, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Thank you, Arnie. Thank you, Arnie. Good job. See, isn't that job fun? That's a good time. <laughs> All right. Let's bring up the power of the month this month. The power of the month this month is wisdom. And wisdom is represented by the color yellow. Wisdom is my ability to discern, evaluate, and make decisions. Divine wisdom flows through me. Wisdom has two functions, drawing upon spirit for guidance and higher perception. Divine wisdom and your intuition are the same. And regret is a crippler. Let's say this affirmation together. God has divine wisdom is bringing to light my perfect direction. Well, amen to that one. And next up, we have our affirmations. Let's stand. Let's get a little energy this morning, and let's stand. All right, let's do these together. Thoughts, be still. Let there be peace. By the power of divine wisdom, I know the way to go. I am one with God, and now fully manifest vigor of love. God is the source of all good I can imagine. I am a radiating center of peace, blessing the world. Amen. And our vision, centered in spirit, we enjoy a world of oneness, love, and abundance, and our mission. We are a thriving, vibrant, spiritual community, empowering personal transformation by living the truth of the divine within. All right. Let's take another deep breath together and have a seat. Let us return to our natural state of being, peace. Let us take all the chaos of the day and let it just float away. Let us, let us be in this space together where our hearts can talk to one another heart to heart. Let us transition from our head space of thinking and into this perfect heart space within. And allow this music to prepare us for prayer and invocation. To free the impossible dream, to fight the 
Sunday morning, let us focus on the breath. Join me in taking a breath. Take another deep cleansing breath and allow it to open and fill your heart space. In this moment, allow your consciousness to surrender all thought and simply allow in this gentle moment. Feel yourself dropping from your head space into the presence of your heart space. In this sacred moment, I invite you to enter the sanctuary of your own heart. Here in this place, we are all connected heart to heart. We take pause and acknowledge our oneness. This is where our true power and wisdom reside. Let us become fully present to this affirmative prayer and invite you to hear my words as your words. I know there is only one presence and one being in this universe, God. God is principle and it is our Christ consciousness at the heart of our divine spark. God is our source of all things and as co-creators, we live life awakening to a deeper and deeper awareness and understanding of love. We are the love we have been looking for, for so let us surrender to this high vibration of love as we pray for the Izbinski and Austin families, Lynn, Jay, Barbara, the Belfi and Martin families, Pam, Jeannie, Sharon, Pearson, Suri, Dolores, Joe, Darren, Tommy, Dee, Susie, Gary, Michael, Molly, Jan, Cassie, Kelly, Michelle, Lynn, Laura, Marlene, Ron, Barb, Scott, and Annie. For the health and well-being of all of us as we continue to deal with this pandemic, for mental, physical, and spiritual healing for all who struggle with addiction and mental health, and loving, restorative blessings for our environment, and for unity of Toledo, our community, the planet, and all beings. We know for each and all that there is health and wholeness, guidance, wisdom, peace, and abundance. 
above all, we know that love is in each and holds us all connected as one. I release these words and this prayer into the perfect outworking of divine law. I know that all is truly in divine order and all is well. Now I invite you to join me in meditation and allow your love and wisdom to rise up within you, revealing you as the oneness to the God within. eternal loving presence, divine source, God of our understanding. As we tune in to this deep Christ consciousness within us, we are reminded that we are already healthy and whole, brilliant with wisdom, connected in love, as we bring that peace within, may that echo out into our global community and wrap Russia and Ukraine in a love that overpowers war, that allows it to dissipate, allow the war within us, the struggles, to rise up and dissipate in a beautiful energy of love. What we know is true is that we are all one. That any thought of separation is a broken thought. We allow that to re be released in this moment. We are so grateful for our greatest desirings to be coming true right here, right now, today. In this moment, we feel so connected to one another. We allow this to carry us through our week this week. And may gratitude walk before us in all that we do. And so it is. Amen. Amen. I'm going to turn this back over to Joe. Was that not a beautiful song? This is why we have him. He was amazing. Before we start this congregational song, I hope everyone had a chance to uh, see the new West Side Story and our national treasure, Rita Moreno, sings this during, uh, doing, during you know, the new version of West Side Story. So sing along with us, please. Thank you. 
Unity, and there's a lot of faces out there I don't really know. So I just wanted to say that I am Brittany Martin, and hello to you. There's a few people over here. Today we have a reading from the Daily Word. Divine order supports my life, and isn't that true? And this is always, as I always say, it's always so pertinent whenever I read. Divine order is one of the great truths of life. It provides a foundation for all growth and a blueprint for all manifestation. Feeling stuck or bewildered is a sign that I'm out of step with divine order. I pause, and with compassion for myself, I release thoughts of worry, impatience, and doubt. I remind myself of times when I wondered whether a hoped-for result would ever happen, only to realize in hindsight that foundational aspects had to be in place first. Remembering this helps me be patient and trusting now. I affirm, I cooperate with divine order. It is established in my life now. I listen with mind and heart, trusting that I will discern my path one step at a time. And so it is. So when, so when uh, Natalie and Julie told me what the theme was, wisdom, I said, perfect, I have a perfect song. This is my audition go-to song. It's uh, from the musical ragtime. I don't know if many of you know the musical. It's a beautiful show. It's about uh, kind of uh, coming up the races, coming together, turn of the century of America. It's a beautiful show if you ever get a chance to see it. Uh, towards the end of the show, um, the, one of the leads uh, sings a song. He knows he knows he's walking into imminent death, but he walks there anyways. And he leaves his followers, I guess, with this message. So this is "Make Them Hear You" from Ragtime. Mm -hmm. Go out and tell our story. Let it echo far and wide. Make them hear you, make them hear you. How justice was our battle last, how justice was denied. Make them hear you, make them hear you. And say to those who blame us for the way we chose to fight. And sometimes there are battles which are more than black and white. And I could not put down my sword when justice was my right. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. Go oh, out to tell the story to your daughters and your sons. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. And tell them in our struggle, we were not the only ones. Make them hear you, make them hear you. Your son that is the seven for the power of the pen. Teach every child to raise his voice, and then my brothers then. Will justice be demanded? Right and will the righteous men make them hear you? Will they hear you? Oh, yeah. 
don't know about you guys, but I got goosebumps. That was great. So great. All right. Well, hopefully our crew is changing up the video here, and uh, we will be, be able to see um, Jody Solon here shortly. Um, wanted to introduce Jody Solon. For those of you who don't know her, uh, she is a captivating guest speaker, and we love having her. And she wasn't able to be with us in February because she had gotten ill. So we had uh, Joe's, uh, not Joe, Tony Semp with us. And uh, this today she has created a video for us because she couldn't be with us live. So we're putting together the video upstairs to make that happen. Um, and Jody is just a great storyteller. She does a lot of workshops and she's actually a very gifted musician and uh, she does uh, i've had workshops with her called breath work workshops and it's been a powerful experience together jody is known for sharing powerful messages deeply through moving stories she has a beautiful original songs and soul stirring meditations and simultaneously workshop experience with a wide open heart that exudes authenticity and that is jody Jody naturally connects with her audiences as she inspires and empowers. So as soon as we get the video up and running, we will be ready to go with Jody Solid. I'll be right back.
it, the sound refuses to work this morning. So um, I thought, well, we'll just take Jody down and we'll put, put me back up and we'll just do some conversations this morning. So let's go ahead and let's pray into this talk. Eternal loving presence, divine mind, God of our understanding, be with us in this moment. Let all that needs to be said be said, and all that needs to be heard, heard. Allow us to center ourselves into this peaceful place in our heart space. May we all connect to our Christ consciousness within, for it is there for all of us to access at any time. And so it is. Amen. Amen. Well, what do you do when life doesn't go the way you planned it? And where's the wisdom in all of that? So it's interesting to me to be in the space of really wanting something to happen and work and it's showing up differently. Has that ever happened to anyone else? Yeah. Right, right. And I, it's so funny the tunnel we get ourselves into because we're sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, what will other people think? We, we have this plan. Do they, will they think we didn't do our prep work? What will they? And I thought it doesn't really matter what those thoughts are. Those are none of my business. And lucky for me, I know I'm in a room of loving people, so really that's not a huge concern. But then I remember when we're walking out there in what appears to be our outer world, how do we remember that when we get triggered by chaos? Does anyone have anything they do when they get triggered by chaos? Nothing. Well, what do you do? You do affirmations? Okay. So she does affirmations. God is the source of my beingness. God is what? The source of my strength. Yeah, absolutely. Larry, what about you? Yes, so what Larry's saying is that there's no place he can't meditate just for a little bit. And he always keeps in mind that there's always another choice. Did I say that right, Larry? Yeah. Arnie, what about you? Yeah, we, he says, first of all, we get all caught up in it. I'm going to rephrase for the folks here. This isn't what? This isn't helpful. This isn't helpful, right? When you get all caught up into it, this isn't helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, he's saying his worry, his upsetness doesn't help. So you redirect your thoughts. Is that what? Yeah, yeah he gets there eventually. <laughs> well, and I'm really glad you said that, Arnie, because often when we are in spiritual work, um, we basically, if, Autumn, can you just turn the screen off behind me while you're working things through? Um, often when we are feeling those emotions, in uh, unity, often we call it chemicalization, where you feel it in your body. Like this morning, I was feeling it in my body. Hence the sweating, hence the you know nervousness and the straightforward focus. Those things happen. And often when in, we do something in spirituality where we think, I'm going to be at peace, so I'm going to spiritually bypass that. But that's really not what spirituality is for. We are meant to feel our feelings. Those are indicators and directors and guides for us. How we respond to those feelings is a powerful thing. 
And what you are witnessing right here in real time is somebody dealing with high emotion, dealing with frustration, and remembering, making a conscious choice to remember that peace is always a choice for us. Peace is always here. And I love what Larry said because Jody's video is not our only choice. Everybody in this room could get up here and talk. I happen to be a little more comfortable with it because of practice. So, but I thought we are not without a solution. And what's interesting about unity right now is we have gone through so many different transitions and different things happening. And yet here we are in this beautiful space of love. Here we are so happy to come back together and be with one another. Um, so many times there's things that happen um, in our lives. I know my mom called me, my mom had a quadruple bypass um, a year ago, December. And she called me um, two weeks ago and she said, Natalie, I'm going to the ER, I'm having chest pains. And I'm just having it checked out. And I thought, okay, stay calm. And if I was in the moment with her, I was really calm. But I was in my living room and I felt million miles away and I hung up the phone and I immediately had all this fear energy going on. And I remembered in that moment, because I have practiced it over and over, I remembered in that moment to allow myself to simply feel it call it what it is, and then visualize it leaving and allowing love to replace it. Because there are always two choices in life. There is love and there is fear. And I knew that I wanted to make the choice of love. But I had to honor my humanness, which was dealing with the immediate fear. And both are important in the process of wisdom. Having the wisdom to do both, not try to do the spiritual bypass. And so coming together this morning, it was so interesting because we got together on Monday night and we tried to get this all to work and we thought we had it. And right as we're leaving, the sound stopped working. We thought we got this. And we worked here today all morning trying to make this happen. And well, here I am. And I thought to myself, if all else fails, I'll just I'll just get up and have a conversation with you all. I'll get up and be a human right here with you. A human who is uh, a soul. That's the truth of my being is that there's something much bigger than me. And uh, I thought that actually, that's actually kind of a powerful thing to be with one another. Just be human, just be with each other. And so, I really appreciated the, uh, I know I'm going to appreciate the hindsight of this way better than in the moment, but all the same, <laughs> thank you for laughing with me. Thank you for, you know, being so comforting. And really, the wisdom of the world that we each have, we often think of it as a collection, like we've put it all into this proverbial pot, all of our experience. And in some ways, we do gain a human wisdom from that. But what I'm here to remind you about is something actually much bigger. And that is this space within you that we call. This is something that Jesus showed us how to access. Jesus was a way shower. And in some ways, I'm kind of a fan of the Matrix, the movie. And I think he was kind of a code hacker or somebody who understood the code of what it is, he understood a path and the path it takes to be in your Christ consciousness, to remember who you truly are. And so the wisdom of the oneness, the wisdom of something greater than you is actually always accessible when you go into your heart space. And it's funny because I've, I've spoke about this before, but one of my favorite stories is about Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison, great inventor, used to sit on his front porch in a rocking chair and he'd hold a large rock in his hand and on his lap he would have a pad of paper and a pencil. 
and he would go to this land of solution is what he called it and so he would drift into that space kind of right between awake and sleeping do you know what i'm talking about you're not really awake but you're not really asleep and he would go there and ask the questions because what he was doing is tapping into a higher wisdom and he knew if he dropped the rock he'd fall asleep and he knew if he had a great idea he was ready to write it down and he wrote down whatever it was whether it made sense to him in the moment or not and so it's interesting when you think about this opportunity to that as a human sure you can pull from the the wisdom of your experience we do that all the time but to think about the fact that there's something supporting you so much bigger than you that you can tap into that is God's wisdom that you have access to that at any given point so what I'm going to ask you to do right now is I'm going to ask you to do a tapping exercise with me and I want you to take your hand and I want you to tap your heart okay just keep tapping And I want you to, when you're comfortable, allow yourself to close your eyes and simply focus on the tapping. And I want you to think about this point within your heart, that there is a portal or an access point there. Allow your thoughts to be released and let go. And simply tune in to that heart space. I'm going to ask a question. And I want you to just listen and tap your heart. What is God's wisdom for me? right here, right now. As you are listening, I want you to think about a beautiful green light flowing into your heart chakra, flowing through you. Maybe this is the first time you've tried to tune into a wisdom beyond your own, and maybe it's not. Now I want you to take a deep breath and blow it out. I want you to put your feet flat on the floor and ground yourself. And I want you to take another deep breath and release. The power of wisdom already resides within you. There is nothing I am saying that you don't already know. Because I am you and you are me. And we are connected in this beautiful heart space. So let us remember that the true power of wisdom is remembering as soon as we can to get back to that heart space. And that each time we are invited in even the midst of chaos 
to return to our natural state of being. This is something that Jan shared with me from, um, I can't think of his name, Patel Desai. Oh, Panash Desai, thank you. Panash Desai, he often says, return to your natural state of peace. And so the truest wisdom is that as we walk through any form of chaos, any form of life that's before us, and even when we make the best of plans, even when we are prepared in many ways, sometimes we are brought down a different path and it is our power of wisdom to remember to pause and simply return to our natural state of peace. So thank you for returning to your natural state of peace with me today. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for the love that we've shared here. And let us, uh, let us just uh, open our hearts to prayer again. As we close these words, we remember to tap into this beautiful power of wisdom. The divine presence is always within us, for that is where the true kingdom lies. May we take this beautiful heart chakra energy this beautiful, glowing wisdom. May we take that into our week together. May we remember how loved we are. May we remember that I am the I am. Say that with me. I am the I am. You are the anointed ones. And so it is for us all. Amen. Amen, amen. Well, that felt pretty good. Perfect. Let us move into our offering and blessings. Can you guys return to the slides? Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, I'd like to thank you for your presence and participation today. Thank you. It was so beautiful to see everybody up in there just tapping their heart space. It was a beautiful vision. Julie would say, I should have got a picture of it. <laughs> I just want to say that this, uh, this community is fully supported by your gifts and your contributions. And you can give at our website for those of you at home or even here in the uh, studio. We are at unityoftoledo.com, and there is a green button at the top right-hand corner you can give there. Or you can give at the, I believe we're going to put up a message here in the comments here for those at home. And I invite you now to take this opportunity to give consciously and to give from this beautiful sense of love and overflow and to infuse your gift with love. Knowing the gift goes forth to multiply the consciousness with which it is given. As we receive this gift as a community, we do so with an open and grateful heart. So let us take this offering to our heart space. And let us bless it together by saying, Divine love as me blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive, and so it is. Amen. Amen, amen. And now back to more music from the wonderful Joe Barton and Janine Barton. Right. And before, I wanted to say a big thank you to Janine and her wonderful piano skills here. We came with our electric piano and we walked in. This was a gift. So we walked in and we saw this. Years ago, they used to have one in here and then they sold it. And we didn't realize they had purchased a new one or just donated or whatever. We walked in and we're like, well, this is a gift. We don't have to sell a piano. So, and it's a beautiful piano. So I'm glad we have it. 
this is uh, what I've done before, so I forgive me for repeating, but I think it's a, it's a good one. It speaks a lot about wisdom. This is You'll Never Walk Alone from Karen Watt. <laughs> Can you walk through a storm? Hold your head on high, and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end. Thank you, Janine. Okay. And thank you to all of you for your kindness and your generosity. Um, let us move into our announcements. Our first announcement is dun, dun, dun. our first announcement is about the annual meeting. So Unity of Toledo has an annual meeting. Uh, at, and it's coming up this April 10th, which is also Palm Sunday, um, but April 10th, and it'll be right here in the theater, but in the basement level. So we will be having light lunch refreshments, and um, it'll start directly after service. So please plan on joining us April 10th. We will be board, voting in new board members. We'll be talking about the sale of the building, and we'll be talking about some changes in, a by, in our bylaws. So it's an important place to be there. All are welcome, whether you're a member or not, but it is our members that will be doing the vote. Um, but we welcome everyone to be there with us. So please join us April 10th. Is the service gonna be here? Yeah, the service, yep, service is here. The meeting is downstairs. Yep. All right, next up we have our prayer chaplains. And our prayer chaplains are available directly after the service. Do we have a prayer chaplain in house today? Jan is here. Jan, if you'll just wave your hand, she's she's here to meet with folks who want to meet with a prayer chaplain, and um, you're welcome to pray with them whether it's a time of struggle or a time of joy. They offer affirmative prayer that opens the heart for spiritual comfort. Also, you can contact them via phone uh, 419-318-9283. So the prayer chaplains are available after service. Next up is a fun one that we do. This was called For the Babies. And what we do is Lucas County Children's Services is now faced with the care of many infants who have been taken from their homes due to a myriad of reasons, including COVID and other factors. So foster families and relative caregivers need supplies for these infants. And so 
there are specific items listed on our website and on our Facebook site. And we are collecting today after service, but not here. If you have it here, that's fine. But we are collecting over at Unity, our old, our old uh, building in the parking lot. And Judy Haynes will be there and Diane Travis will be collecting those things. So two to four, thank you, Judy, two to four today. And that will be our collection time. Um, nope, there will be another collection time. There is a second collection time. It is listed on our website. I don't have it in front of me. Judy, when's our second? Oh, April 26th or 24th. It's a Sunday. So one of the last Sundays in April. And so far, we'll still be meeting in the parking lot. If that changes, we'll then announce it here. All right, the next one up is something that we've been invited to, and I highly recommend it. There's a equality Seder meal happening during a Holy Week on Holy Thursday. It is April 7th from 7 to 9, and it is downtown at Handmade Toledo. You can check this out on our website, and there is an RSVP opportunity. They're asking you to RSVP because there will be um, different things they give you for a Seder meal. So we want to make sure that you have that. But it's a great way to mix with multi-faiths and to um, be a part of the Equality Seder Meal. So we highly recommend that you do that. And again, it's on our website and it's on our Facebook page. Next up is something I'm really excited about. I teach this every year. This year, though, we're doing the next version of it. It's called Prosperity Plus Three, Living Full Spectrum Wealth. I'll tell you, these classes changed my life in so many ways, and not because of a material prosperity, although that's part of it, but there's a full spectrum of prosperity that you receive. So if you've taken the Prosperity Plus Two, you're welcome to take this class again. And if you've never taken a prosperity class, this is a great place to jump in. I'll be teaching that starting May 3rd from 7.30 to 9.30, and we're going to start classes on Zoom. We are looking for a possibility of having it in person, we'll stay tuned on that. The cost for this class is $65. That basically covers your class materials. So um, you can sign up on our website. There is a sign-in form and you can pay for it right online. So please join us, please think about it. It is a life-changing opportunity. And um, yeah, it made me, it really had a lot of long-term lasting effects. And I'm kind of looking around the room and I'm like, looking at different people that have taken it before and they're kind of smiling right now going yep yep <laughs> so if you want a powerful experience of prosperity please join us next up we have our a course in miracles we meet every wednesday 7 to 8 30. this is a powerful conversation of connecting spiritual practice to your everyday life so if you'd like to join the zoom link is available you just give me a call at the church and we'll get you connected Next up is the way of knowing. The way of knowing just took place, right, Paul? It was this past week. And Paul and Sarah DeCola, our very own back here, they lead that discussion. It happens the fourth Tuesday of every month. And again, the Zoom link is available at the church. So uh, it's every fourth Tuesday at 7 p.m. So if you are interested in that, you don't have to have the book to start. Um, but you'll, you'll probably quickly want it, that's for sure. All right, next up, I will be back to next week speaking, and Lori Lefevre and John Johnson will be here to sing. So that will be a, a good time for everyone, and we should have worked out some more of these kinks. So hopefully it will be good and smooth by then. All right, let us uh, stand for our prayer of protection. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and all is well. Let's do a peace song. Walk with me. 
Stay warm out there, and we'll see you here next week.